Uh, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Le Xianyang from Tsinghua University. Uh, it's a pity that I cannot attend in person due to the difficult COVID situation, but I'm happy that uh, uh, I can join this wonderful conference I, uh, online, and uh, I ha uh, I'm happy to have this chance to present some of our recent results on the electronic structure of uh, uh, the thin films of magnetic bismuth telluride. Uh, I would like to thank the organizers for the invitation. Uh, in this talk, I will first uh, introduce the experimental tool and uh, the research background. Then I will uh, compare the topological electronic structure of the bulk sample and the thin films. Then I will focus on the uh, observation of the rush bus split band and, and its interaction with the topological surface states. <laughs> the, in the last, I will give a brief summary. Okay, first the introduction. Uh, our experimental tool is the angle resolved photo emission spectroscopy, uh, APES. The basic work, working principle is the uh, photoelectric effect exp explained by Einstein. Uh, a photon beam uh, excites electrons out of the solid materials and an electron an uh, analyzer is used to collect the photon electrons and the analyzer is their uh, momentum and the energy. Uh, by a simple calculation based on the energy and the momentum conservation laws, we can uh, we can get the uh, energy momentum distribution information in the solid materials, which is the band structure of the solids. Uh, in nowadays, the capability of APES has been greatly improved. Uh, by focusing the incident beam uh, uh, down to a uh, tens of nanometer scale, we can measure the local fine electronic structures uh, 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 with micro APES. Uh, by attaching the spin detector, we can measure the spin structure with uh, uh, spin APES. If we update the uh, incident beam to uh, post the lasers, we can measure the non-equilibrium uh, electronic structure dynamics uh, in time domain using time resolved RPS. <clears throat> uh, accurate measurements of multi uh, degrees of freedom of quantum materials will provide us uh, uh, more complete information. Uh, we use RPS to search and study topological quantum materials. Uh, before the discovery of the topological quantum states, the classification of matters was uh, based on Landau's uh, spontaneous symmetry breaking th uh, theory. This wonderful picture uh, is uh, challenged by the discovery of quantum whole state in 1980 by uh, von Klissing. Uh, in the quantum whole state, the bulk of the state is insulating, but the edge is uh, uh, conducting. Each quantum whole state can be described by the topological invariant or the chain number. There is no symmetry breaking in this quantum state. Uh, around about uh, 2005, the discovery of uh, the topological insulator further expands the member of topological quantum materials family. Up to date, the family of the topological quantum materials uh, includes many members, such as the uh, topological insulator, uh, Dirac and the uh, wire semi-metals and the uh, uh, topological superconductors. Uh, it's interesting to note that the quantum chemical calculation uh, recently has uh, suggested that uh, more than 70% of uh, uh, crystals are actually topological quantum materials. Uh, our story today uh, starts from the topological insulator. The major difference between the topological insulator and the normal insulator is the inverted band gap and the ex existence of the topological surface states. In the topological uh, insulator, the strong spin of the coupling plays a role as the external uh, magnetic field in the quantum hole state. The spin and the momentum uh, uh, of the surface states are, are, lo are locked, uh, forming a gapless uh, Dirac cone uh, in the uh, uh, bulk gap. Due to this uh, spin mom momentum locking, the electrons are immune to the backscattering induced by non-magnetic uh, impurities. Therefore, the topological insulator is uh, uh, potentially useful for the low energy consum consumption electronic devices. Uh, in a prototypical topological insulator, such as bismuth uh, telluride, the bulk band topology guarantees the existence of um, a two-dimensional topological surface state with gapless Dirac dispersion, which can be directly visualized using RPS. Uh, time reversal, reversal symmetry plays a crucial role in the protection of the gapless Dirac surface state. Uh, on the other hand, already from the very beginning of the study of topological insulators, researchers have realized that intriguing uh, quantum phenomena and the new states can be, uh, can be induced if the crucial time reversal symmetry is broken. <clears throat> An exchange gap can be caused in the topological surface state, realizing the so-called magnetic topological insulator. In this situation, uh, 
chiral edge mode can emerge with uh, quantized, quantized conductivity if the Fermi level is tuned in the uh, exchange gap. Such magnetic uh, topological insulators are potentially useful for engineering a variety of exotic topological magnetoelectric effects, such as the quantum anomalous hole, e hole effect, in which uh, the quantized hole, quantized hole effect uh, occurs without external magnetic field. Uh, another example is the axial insulator phase, in which the gapped uh, surface uh, shows a half quantized anomalous hole. Uh, anomalous hole conductivity. Uh, by tuning the magnetic structure, uh, other interesting phases can also be uh, realized, uh, such as the Majorana fermions, if the superconductivity is involved, or the fractional chain insulators and the wire semi-metals. Uh, unfortunately, although the concept is clear and beautiful, it is not easy to realize magnetic topological insulators. Taken the quantum anomalous hole effect as an example, it was originally realized uh, uh, in vanadium or chromium doped uh, bismuth antimony telluride sy system. Uh, uh, the, uh, the observation of the quantum anomalous hole effect requests both fine tuning of the sample composition and the uh, ultra low temperatures, making the experimental demonstration extremely difficult. Uh, it is thus highly desired to search for stoichiometric uh, topological insulators with intrinsic magnetic ordering. Uh, in about 2018, the first intrinsic magnetic topological insulator, magnetic bismuth telluride, uh, was proposed and ignited uh, intensive uh, research interests. It exhibits a layered structure uh, by stacking Van der Waals' uh, uh, septuple layers of magnetic bismuth telluride. Each septuple layer can be viewed as uh, an extra magnetic telluride layer sandwiched at the middle of the well-known bismuth telluride uh, uh, quintuple layer. It uh, enters an antiferromagnetic ordered state below 25 Kelvin. The antiferromagnetic state uh, uh, ordering is uh, A-type and with the uh, magnetization easy axis along the C direction. Although the um, uh, anisotropic energy is only 1.7 milli volt. A uh, calculation reveals the uh, band inversion uh, near the gamma point uh, with a bulk gap of about 200 milli electro volts, suggesting its topologically non trivial nature. Uh, correspondingly, the calculations predicted a gapped surface state in the A type antiferromagnetic phase. The surface gap is predicted to be uh, several tens of milli electro volts, although it's different in different groups. Uh, making magnetic bismuth telluride an ideal materials platform to uh, realize quantum anomalous hole effect. Uh, soon, the several remarkable breakthroughs have been experimentally realized in magnetic bismuth telluride, including the quantized uh, anomalous hole uh, effect, even uh, at uh, zero, zero field. A uh, first transition from a chain insulator to a uh, uh, axial insulator to a chain insulator, and the observation of a high chain number chain insulator. Uh, we used the APES to study the electronic structure of bulk magnetic bismuth telluride. Uh, actually, shortly after the theoretical prediction, many APES results have been presented to show its basic electronic structure. Experiments using synchrotron radiation show a large gap ranging from 50 milli electron volt to uh, 200 milli electron volt, which depends on the photon energy used uh, in the in the APES experiments. This suggests that the uh, Measured, uh, measured band gap is maybe the, the, from the bulk bands. Uh, using synchrotron radiation source, we uh, conducted RPS measurements at re relatively low photon energies. The basic electronic structure is very similar to other, other reports uh, using synchrotron. We observe a clear photon energy dependence of the dispersion. The valence band uh, top and the conduction band bottom, as well as the gap between them, all show a uh, clear, band, clear uh, dependence on the photon energy, which is uh, periodic, uh, per periodically uh, varied. This suggests their bulk origin. Uh, interestingly, at, at photon energies below 16 electron volts, we ob observe um, a weak but uh, resolvable uh, states in the bulk, ga bulk gap, forming a Dirac like uh, uh, dispersion. This Dirac-like dis uh, band dispersion show weak uh, photon energy dependence, suggesting its uh, surface origin. Uh, in order to understand the nature of this in-gap state, we conducted uh, um, laser-based RPS measurements with superb energy and momentum resolutions. As shown here, 
uh, we observe a Dirac like uh, a Dirac like dispersion with uh, a diminishing the uh, diminishing surface gap, which can be better visualized in the zoom in plot and the second derivative of, of the spectrum. The topological surface state with the diminishing gap was also observed by other groups. Uh, at low temperatures, the uh, bulk valence band shows a uh, uh, band splitting uh, near the gamma point. And this can be seen from the second derivative of the spectrum, which uh, this splitting disappears at a high temperature above the neo temperature. The, uh, from the uh, uh, temperature evolution of the EDC, we can see the uh, evolution of this band splitting. This band splitting uh, disappears above 25 Kelvin and uh, 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 suggesting a clear influence of the magnetic ordering in the electronic structure of the system. However, the surface state, this surface state remains uh, gapless above, the, above and below the uh, antiferromagnetic ordering uh, with, with, uh, without clear change uh, with the temperature. <clears throat> On the other hand, one can insert bismuth uh, telluride layers between the magnets uh, uh, bismuth telluride layers, so forming other magnets uh, bismuth telluride compounds such as uh, uh, 147, 1610, and so on. The insertion of bismuth telluride layers will suppress the interlayer antiferromagnetic uh, coupling and uh, introduce a ferromagnetic state in the system, which may favor the zero field quantum anomalous fall effect. We also measured the 147 system. It can be seen as inserting a uh, bismuth telluride layer between two magnets uh, bismuth telluride layers. The sample shows an uh, antiferromagnetic anti ordering uh, transition near 20, uh, 12 Kelvin. And it enters a uh, ferromagnetic like state below 5 Kelvin. Due to the Van der Waals uh, uh, coupling between different layers, the, there exist uh, different sample terminations after cleavage. We can see here from the uh, atomic force microscopy uh, topography. Uh, in order to study the surface electronic structure on different terminations, we conducted RPS measurements with uh, high spatial resolution by focusing the light beam into a uh, small spot, uh, smaller than one micro in uh, synchrotron, synchrotron radiation and uh, 20 micro in laser RPS. The RPS intensity map on the sample surface in, indeed showed the uh, um, existence of two kinds of uh, domains with different uh, spectral weight of Magnus uh, 3D orbitals. Uh, we also observe different uh, uh, core level spectra of, uh, in these two different domains. We can see a, dif uh, a difference from the overall dispersion on the two terminations as well uh, here. <clears throat> we then zoom into the spectra near the Fermi level to study the termination dependence of the surface states. Our uh, measurement reveals gapless surface electronic structure on both uh, magnetic bismuth uh, telluride termination and uh, bismuth telluride termination. Uh, the experiment, uh, experiment sh shows a gapless uh, uh, surface state on both terminations, and uh, uh, the overall, overall electronic structure measured is uh, uh, consistent with the calculation, except that the, the surface state, uh, surface uh, electronic structure in the calculation is gapped in magnetic uh, bismuth telluride termination. Uh, briefly speaking, the situation in 147 is quite similar to the situation in 124 system. We believe that there is a unified mechanism in, uh, in the diminishing the surface gap in both materials. Uh, the observation of the nearly gapless surface state is uh, beyond expectation, and we haven't fully understood this result. There are many scenarios to explain this observation. I here briefly uh, introduce some of them. Uh, firstly, considering the small magnetic uh, anisotropic energy, there, um, there exist, exist multi-magnetic domains of different magnetization orientations on the sample surface. These magnetic domains will mediate the surface state together and uh, contribute to the nearly gapless surface state. The magnetic domains and the domain walls were um, indeed observed recently by magnetic force microscopy. The size of the domain wall is about 0.5 uh, micro. Uh, the other scenario is the disordered magnetization on the sample surface, which recovers the time reversal symmetry 
and uh, induces the capitalist uh, uh, surface state. The third scenario is um, self-doping effect. Uh, due to the self-doping effect, the capitalist uh, surface state uh, is uh, lower in energy than the gapped state. <clears throat> so therefore this one is, uh, um, is easy, easier to be uh, observed. Unfortunately, the true mechanism of the diminishing surface gap is still an open question. Uh, to make the situation more complicated, recent RPS measurements uh, suggest uh, the surface gap can be vary from 10 milli electron volt to 70 milli electron volt, strongly depending on the samples. Some work also suggests that the native point defects plays an important role in determining the surface gap. Uh, to test these uh, uh, scenarios, we use the laser-based micro RPS to study the electronic structure of a uh, magnetic bismuth telluride. We built a um, laser-based micro RPS system in our lab. By focusing the seven EV laser beam uh, down to mi one micro, we can scan in the beam on the sample surface. Therefore, we can measure the intrinsic electronic structure in a single magnetic, do magnetic domain. The scanning photo emission measurement on the uh, striped gold sample Show, shows the, the spatial resolution of our system to be better than uh, one micro. The system also have the capability to, uh, um, uh, to measure the spin structure. Using this uh, laser-based micro RPS, we scan the sample surface of a magnetic bismuth telluride at uh, about 15 Kelvin. Unfortunately, um, at a different sample positions, our measurement did not show a, a clear change of the band structure except uh, in the, uh, uh, near the edge of the uh, cleaved sample where the cleavage seems to be bad. Uh, the other spectra uh, uh, remain uh, gapless. So um, uh, it seems that the domain, the domain, domain or domain wall is not the major, major problem for the diminishing of scale. Um, uh, further experiments are still going on to study the spatial inhomogeneity of the electronic structure. Okay, uh, uh, next I will talk about the thin films uh, of magnetic bismuth telluride one to four. Um, so uh, in, in addition to the diminishing surface gap, we notice several other peculiarities in the electronic structure of magnetic bismuth telluride, uh, uh, which were previously ignored. Uh, first, there is this uh, uh, kink-like structure in the uh, dispersion of topological surface state. Secondly, the surface uh, state seems to be broadened and uh, weakened uh, uh, as approaching the Fermi level, which is beyond uh, the, the expectation of uh, Fermi liquid theory. Thirdly, there is a um, rush bar uh, split uh, band, which was attributed to a bulk valence band before. Uh, fourthly, the thin film, which is more important, are still not sufficiently studied. Previous measurements on the film shows a drastic difference between the electronic structures of the, the films and the bulk. To understand this drastic different, difference, uh, uh, difference and other peculiarities, uh, we, uh, we studied the um, uh, electronic structure of the films using uh, our laser RPS. The films were grown by uh, MBE and were characterized by different uh, techniques we observe uh, uh, sharp streaks in the read pattern, suggesting the high quality of our samples. The uh, implant lattice uh, constant of our crystal is estimated to be 4.3 angstrom in good existence with the bulk sample. The uh, surface topography measured using STM show similar surface structure with bulk sample as well. The hexagonal uh, lattice structure corresponds to the top surface of uh, uh, telluride atoms. Similar to the bulk sample, we also observe uh, considerable defects, mainly from magnetic atoms occupying the bismuth sites or the magnetic bismuth uh, anti-site defects. The Fourier transform of the surface map gives uh, an implant lattice constant of uh, 4.2 estrogen, consistent with the bulk sample. Uh, the MBE grown sample, uh, samples show a high quality. Uh, recently, Professor Kerhurst group has uh, successfully observed the quantized anomalous flow effect in the 5SL uh, film. The overall shape, uh, shapes of the rho yx and the rho xx versus h are very similar to those observed in magnetic bismuth telluride uh, flex samples uh, that uh, was uh, um, cleaved. The high field, 
and the low field uh, parts of the uh, of the curves roughly correspond to the ferromagnetic and antiferromagnetic configurations respectively. In the ferromagnetic uh, um, state and the uh, high magnetic field, the absolute value of rho y x, rho y x and rho x x always evolve inversely with the uh, magnetic field and with the uh, get voltage and the temperature, which uh, is a signature of a quantum Hall or quantum anomalous Hall effect. The quantum Hall effect uh, is uh, further excluded by the absence of uh, transport features of Landau level formation. Therefore, the high, high field uh, part of the, the, the data are dominated by the quantum, quantum anomalous Hall effect. Rho X uh, uh, reaches the quantized value of uh, uh, about one, uh, uh, near, nearly one uh, below 0.4 Kelvin. <clears throat> okay, uh, we use laser apparatus to study the electronic structure of uh, this MBE grown uh, thin films. We can e easily find the drastic difference between the electronic structure of the bulk, uh, the bulk and the uh, five SL films. Consistent with the electronic structure of the bulk samples, we observe the conduction band and the valence band with a gap of about one, one, 150 milli electron volts. The topological surface state uh, shows a diminishing gap, but no kink like structure here. It merges into the bulk, uh, bulk conduction band with a much weaker spectral weight. Uh, the band structure shows a clear dependence on the film thickness. In the 1SL film, we observe an M-like M uh, uh, valence band with a band gap as large as uh, 300 milli electron volt between the valence and the uh, uh, conduction bands. Uh, interestingly, the band gap shrinks in the 2SL film and then reopens in the 3SL SL film. Uh, Above the uh, 3 SLL film, the surface state gradually emerges uh, and uh, finally evolves to the uh, topological surface state in a bulk sample. Uh, the experiment uh, is in overall agreement with our DFT calculations. According to the calculation, the topology of the order number sample uh, films and even number films are different. The even number films are topologically uh, trivial. The chain number is zero. And uh, uh, the, in the odd number films, the 1SL film is uh, to also topologically trivial, but uh, the films are um, uh, churn insulators in, in films above 3SL film. Therefore, there is a change of the topology of the films uh, above 3SL. Excuse me, you uh, have five minutes left. Sorry? Uh, you have five minutes left. Uh, I think I have, uh, yes, uh, yes, I will uh, finish in time. Uh, we also noticed that the film level of the, of the films is uh, different from the bulk sample. Uh, we thus use surface doping of alkali metals to raise the film level of the film. Here is the evolution of the electronic structure of a 6SL film with surface uh, uh, potassium doping. With increasing doping level, the band starts uh, shifts uh, towards higher bind energies. Interestingly, near 0.1 uh, monolayer coverage. Uh, uh, the surface state seems to, uh, to separate from the bulk states. Uh, and uh, the uh, kink-like uh, structure emerges <coughs> in the surface state, which can be better seen from the second derivative spectrum. This spectrum looks uh, very similar to the spectrum in a bulk sample. The interesting evolution of the band structure induces a Lipschitz transition of the cha or the change of the Fermi surface topology from a uh, single circle to uh, three circles here, and uh, finally to uh, one circle again. Okay, uh, now I will discuss the origin of the kink-like uh, kink structure. We compare the uh, band structure of doped film and uh, the bulk sample here. Despite the broadened uh, spectra, the basic electronic structures are quite similar to each other, uh, including the kink-like structure, the weakened and broadened uh, uh, topological surface state near the Fermi level and the emergence of the Rush bus split band. The, the observation suggests that the electronic structure of MB grown the film is actually quite similar to the bulk sample, except that the doping level and the surface condition may need to be modified. Uh, to understand the interesting evolution of the electronic structure, we also conducted a, a doping dependent measurement on the bulk sample. We, with slight doping, the band shifts uh, 
towards high binding energies. At heavy doping, the, both the rush bar split and the kink dis disappears, leaving a balanced structure similar to that of the uh, thin film. Uh, we would like to uh, emphasize that during the surface doping, the rush bar split band and the kink-like structure uh, shift uh, uh, down or up together and it disappears at the same doping, uh, doping level of the alkali metals. This, is suggest, this local in behavior suggests a close relationship between the rush, rush bar split band and the kink. Uh, we propose that the kink-like structure is induced by the interaction between the rush bar split band and the topological surface band. In the pristine film, the rush bar split band is uh, occupied with the surface of potassium doping, it gradually uh, shifts down and hybridizes with the topological surface state, inducing the kink-like structure. At high doping level, both the film and the bulk sample show a similar electronic structure with only inverted uh, bulk band and uh, topological surface state within the bulk gap. Uh, the rush bar split band observed uh, uh, in the films and the bulk samples resembles that in the bismuth selenide after surface doping which is related to the quantum well state formed after surface doping. Based on the four band model for uh, topological insulators, we simulated the band structure of uh, manganese bismuth telluride slabs. The surface doping mainly induces uh, surface potential. Without this surface potential, the antiferromagnetic term opens a gap in the uh, surface Dirac cone uh, near the gamma point. When the surface potential is uh, turned on, but the magnetic field is turned off, um, a quantum well state with rush bar, split, rush bar splitting emerges. When both the surface potential and antiferromagnetic term are turned on, the rush bar split band coexists with the gapped uh, topological surface state. Uh, our calculation does suggest that, uh, suggest, uh, that the observed rush bar split band in the film and the bulk samples um, are from the quantum confinement effect similar to the tunable rush bar, uh, split band in bismuth selenide. The observation of the rush bar split band and its uh, interaction with the topological surface state is uh, not trivial. First, uh, it uh, uh, will contribute to significant carriers to the system, uh, which will play a role in the transport of the material. Secondly, it provides a, provides a platform to realize the rush bar uh, ferromag ferromagnet, cons uh, considering the surface ferromagnet uh, of the uh, of the sample, as proposed by the uh, uh, by the theory, the uh, spin optic coupling and the ferromagnetism may open a gap at the band crossing point. Such a system is uh, attractive for anti uh, for, uh, is attractive for the anom anomalous hole effect and uh, possibly also for quantum anomalous hole effect. Okay, uh, I would like to summarize uh, my results with these two uh, videos. Uh, we reveal a topolo topological phase uh, uh, change from a trivial, trivial band ins insulator in one SL film to a chain insulator in three SL film. Uh, we observe a rush bus little, uh, band interacting with the topological surface state in manganese bismuth uh, telluride, which induces the kink like structure. The surface states can be effectively manipulated by surface potassium doping, and the rush bus split band may establish a rush bar ferromagnet on the surface of uh, the sample. Uh, okay, I would like to thank my uh, collaborators. The films were grown by Professor uh, Kerhurst Group, and uh, the bulk samples were grown by Professor Wang, Wang and Professor Huo. And the uh, APES measurements were conducted uh, in Tsinghua University with help from uh, Professor Yu Lin Chen and uh, uh, Zhong Kai Liu's group. <coughs> uh, the, the calculation was done by Professor Xu Yun in Tsinghua University. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Well, is there one urgent question, please? Thank you very much for the nice talk. I have a question concerning this rush bus state. Why would there be the rush bus state on the surface of the bulk single crystal of MBT without any potassium deposition, on your opinion? Uh, yes, the, um, I think the, the uh, a possible reason is due to the defects, which uh, induces uh, additional carriers in the, on the surface. It's similar to the potassium doping.
what kind of defects that would be different from those that are already present in the bulk. You just cleave the bulk single crystals, the defects will be just there in the surface subtypal layer which would be exposed by the cleavage. And so yes. where then does uh, the this other... But the surface is always not uh, uh, ideal. It's uh, uh, There is a magnesium uh, 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 bismuth uh, anti-site uh, defects which can induce uh, 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 electrons, or, 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 or let's say um, carriers, which can induce the um, quantum confinement uh, effects. So you think they appear at the surface more than in the bulk, in the in the block yes. layer of der Waals material, which is like chemically yes. inert and protected and stuff. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Our time came to end. So let's thank all the speakers of our session once again.